Hey, so here we are at the end of another fabulous week in Vienna. Vivi and I have had a quite a busy schedule this week, but it has been an incredible week and we've loved every second of it. So here's a really quick recap of everything that we did. On Monday, we met with a couple members of the church and one of them took us on a tour of Vienna. He told us all about the history and showed us all the really neat things that we didn't see last time. And it was just really a great chance to walk around the city and get to know our members and like form relationships with people and it was a lot of fun. Tuesday, Deanstock, we had EKC, which is English Kids Club. It's one of our programs here where we interact with the kids in the neighborhood of the church and we teach them English and we play games with them and we just get, like learn and share with them and we have a lot of fun. We did a really fun craft. We had the two interns, Peyton and Darian, come visit. They're going to Graz. Austria and they go to OC with me and Vivian so we know them personally and it was really fun to get to interact with them all throughout this week and let them see what we're doing. went to dinner with Will and Holly Cooey and we met a lot of their friends that they'd made here in the city and started to find connections with them so that way we can start to feel really connected with the city and get to branch out and meet new people and that was a lot of fun. Vivian and I spent the entire day hanging out with the Rubinsky family, which is another missionary family here, and it was a lot of fun. We learned a lot, and we got to <laughs> see how other missionary families also function in Vienna. That was a really neat experience. We spent the day with them.
Schloss Luxembourg, which is just outside of Vienna. Fun fact, it was the other summer home for the Habsburg family when they got sick of Schoenbrunn, um, which leads me to... So, here I am in one of my top two favorite places in Vienna, Schoenbrunn Palace. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday, it's the first day it hasn't been cold in a couple of weeks. It's gorgeous outside, there's lots of people around, and Vivian and I are spending a free day. We are going to Schoenbrunn, later on we'll go to the Belvedere to a museum, but this, hands down, is a very special place to me and one of my favorites. First day I ever, ever spent in Vienna, months ago, was at Schoenbrunn. It touched my heart. It's what helped me feel connected with the city. It's been one of my favorite places ever since, and it has my favorite view of the city. It has my, it's home to my favorite view of the city. But first, I have to hike all the way up to the Gloriette in order to get there. But behind me, as you can see, is this fabulous Schoenbrunn Palace. It's gorgeous. I love it to death. I've been inside. It's very, fa very fabulous, very chic. But... <laughs> My favorite place is at the top of the Gloriette. So I'm gonna go on a hike, and I'll see you when I get to the top. Adios. So, I made it to the top of the Gloriette. Not the hardest thing in the world, but it's not the funnest thing in the world either. It's quite a strenuous zigzaggy hike. Anyway, like I said, the top of the Gloriette is home to my favorite view of Vienna. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I mean, really, does it get any better than that? This is my favorite city and my favorite spot, and I haven't seen very many views to top that, but here we are, spending this fabulous day with Vienna at our fingertips. Sunday is Mother's Day, and it was really hard not being with our moms on Mother's Day, but Vivian and I made sure that we both called our moms, and I want to say a huge Happy Mother's Day shout out to my mom, even though it's a little bit late, but that would be very much, it mean a lot to me. I'm so thankful for you supporting me coming to Austria a second time in the same year, and I appreciate that. I'm learning a lot, and love you very much. That's for you, Mama. But... Despite Mother's Day, we had a really great church service this morning with a lot of people here at the Haskew's house. It was really, really great. And there's a lot of learning. And we got to work with the youth group and sit in on their class. And that was really, really inspiring for Vivian and I both. Afterwards, we spent Mother's Day with Amanda Haskew because she's kind of been like a second mom to us while we've been here. And she's amazing and we love her very much. And so it was really great to spend Mother's Day with Amanda and the Husky family. And we spent most of the day when we, after church working on German homework. <laughs> and it's exhausting, but Vivian and I are learning a lot and hopefully it will come in handy when it comes to communicating with people a little bit better. But Abby and Katie have been relentlessly helping us with our German and showing us up <laughs> a lot. 
who knew that two 20-year-olds would need the help from both a 10-year-old and a 4-year-old with their German. But we appreciate them very much, and overall, it has been an incredible week. We've had a lot going on, but we've seen God working in so many ways, and I couldn't be more thankful for everything that's been happening this week. And I can't wait to see what happens and continues to happen over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Is yeah. air? Uh, yeah. Yeah. S. T. U. V. V. X. Upsilon. Upsilon. Z. Yeah. And Upsilon is like. Adios.